Let's try this again. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Let's try this again, y'all. I don't know. Okay. Obviously, there is something that I'm trying to say that Satan just don't want y'all to hear, okay? He don't want you to hear it. That, that, that's exactly what it is. I'm telling you right now. Like, since when do they just cut me off like that, okay? Personally, if you want to know what I really think it is, I forgot that I had music playing because I had been listening to music this morning. So I think it was my fault, but we'll blame the, we'll blame, we'll blame the devil, right? We'll blame him. It's all good. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's try this again. All right, let's try this again and see if this works. Wow. So if you're here, if you're here, this is just a little pick-me-up for the day. That's what it is. Now, tonight and onward, no matter what, if you are an Avon rep watching this right now in my group, uh, uh, probably 8-ish, 8, 830, sometime around there, we will be doing our uh, Tuesday night chat uh, with all of you. And just we're going to rehash some conference stuff tonight and talk about um, everybody's excitement and the fact that their um, their tanks are full again and we have some clarity and some definition about where we want to go um, but we're going to talk about that later tonight okay so yeah no Lori you didn't mess up mm. thank you Facebook that's all I'm gonna say about that I think they caught the song that was playing in my background hi Joy I think that's what happened so 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 yeah I think that's what happened, okay? So, tonight, guys, make sure you're joining me in the Onward, no matter what, for Avon Representative Group. And we're going to talk tonight, Avon. But right now, you may have gotten back from the trip, and you're exhausted. It's a good exhausted, but you're exhausted, right? Um, and you just know that you need to get up and get your day started. And you may have some hurdles that you need to jump over, right? So I decided to do this almost two months ago now. I do this every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock just to say, I need you to know that it's going to be okay, that you are not alone in anything that you're going through. And after the year that I had last year, um, I had to figure that out. So now I have felt led to make sure that you figure it out. Okay, so that's what we're going to that's what we're gonna do. Andrew says it will be a tight squeeze for me to be able to make it tonight. Oh, well, congratulations on the 8th grade orientation. Well, Andrea, you know it's always in the group. I just don't YouTube those. That's all. That's just private between me and my tribe, and we do it in there. And if you can't be there live, you can always go back and watch the replay. Okay? So not a big deal. Um, that's just Those are just moments for anybody who's on there who feels like chatting with me. That's all that's about. Um, still in Syracuse having breakfast. Oh, wow, Joy. Yeah, I hear you. Um, so, yeah, so God bless all of you that um, are trying to get home still, had trouble getting home. I know Lisa Wilbur had a horrible time. Um, uh, but you know what? She's just, I know y'all, y'all, Lisa Wilbur just figures out a way to laugh about everything. She is so inspiring. I talked to her when her flights got all messed up on the way there, and she is just a problem solver. She knew what she wanted, and she went in, and she did it. Uh, and I just thought, wow, this is cool. Have to catch up on work, not done while well, convention. Diane, love you. I will see you later on, friend. So thanks for stopping by. Um, so look, let's, let's chat for a moment, okay? Let's chat. Um, a lot of you um, were really down because you couldn't go live. To convention and I understand that um, I couldn't either right and uh, you, you gotta let go of it they had virtual we could all be um, we could all be a part of it and um, sometimes life doesn't always go how we want it to go and sometimes it doesn't go right for your kids you know and sometimes you don't understand and sometimes you beat yourself up right uh, and, um, hey, Janae, I saw Janae hadn't even said hi yet, but I saw her. Um, I'm drinking coffee, Janae. You got it. Mm. The other thing I'm doing is I got to tell you just briefly, and then we'll get to the devotional. Convention, the representatives who spoke at the convention, I have to tell you, they didn't just inspire me. They inspired me to do their, hey, Rebecca, there were some things that I had been, um, 
that I had been putting off that I needed to do. You know, I've been so busy working my Avon, working my job, that sometimes you put stuff on the back burner that you need to make important, right? And I just kept saying, I don't have time, I don't have time, blah, 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 blah. Um, and um, things like, for Avon Rep, she'll understand this, making a video to go on my e-store, right? We've had that for a while now, and I need to do that. So this morning, I set my clock for an hour earlier, and I got up, and I said, I'm going to get up, I'm going to do my hair, I'm going to put some makeup on, and I'm going to have a chat with anybody who may find me, who may want a to join Avon with me, who may want to... Um, buy the products for me, I thought, it if it's meant to be, it's up to me, right? And um, I've been given all the tools, so, so for all of you who spoke, you lit a fire under me. So I appreciate that because I am becoming more intentional in what I do. Scott, if I had been at convention, I would have grabbed yourself and I would have hugged you fiercely. Okay, Scott? You would have known that Mama Molly was there. Believe me, you would have known, dude. You would have known. Um, but no, I wasn't, Scott. I had, I had to bow out. I uh, just had other commitments that I had to take care of. So I was with everybody virtually and also in replays. A lot of it I had to do with replay. So, uh, so yeah. So, okay. So we're here. Um, yes, yeah, Scott, Janae told you that. Okay. Told you that. Scott, were you not paying attention to Janae? She will hurt you. Just saying she will hurt you. Uh, okay. So, so let, let's get on this. Let's get on this real quick. So, I have to tell you that um, anxiety is a huge part of my life, and you find that during these little sessions that I do uh, on Tuesday mornings, you'll find that anxiety is is listed a lot in my speech because it just seems to run in my family. I mean, my sons have anxiety, I have anxiety, uh, and I've got to tell you, it's um. Anxiety is, is hard, and I do not believe that anything about anxiety is of God, for sure. Um, but I do believe that anxiety can keep us, can keep us from, um, from being our best selves. And when we are not our best selves, or we're not striving to be our best selves, I believe that then we're not used for the better. I believe that we're used to create conflict. And... Also, to not help others. And I believe that we're here to love. I believe that we're here to help others. I believe we're here to lift people up. Um, some of you, I have to love from over there. We talked about that, right? But it doesn't mean that I can't love you. It just means that it may not be good for your health or mine if you're in my general vicinity. And I, I just have to say, Jesus, fix it. That's what I say. So, I want you to, to listen to what I'm going to read. Um, I'm going to tell you, this was from September 23rd last year, and you all know what I was going through, and this was um, about a half a month before my surgery, and I just, I'm going to share the verses first, and then I'm going to share what is said about the verses, okay? So, if you're just stopping by, I hope you hear this. I hope you hear this, because if you're struggling with something in your life, maybe there's just something here that can help you. Maybe not. Maybe it's just you laughing with me and having a good time, but but just maybe this is something that can help you. Okay, so in Isaiah 42, 3, it says, A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not extinguish. He will faithfully bring forth justice. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Proverbs 3, 5, Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind, and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. Now listen, this is written like this. Lean on, comma, trust in, comma, and be confident. It doesn't say be confident and then lean on and trust in. You know, 
The Bible is very deliberate. God's word is very, very deliberate. He even gives you the order that he wants you to do things. So listen, you have to lean in on him, right? Lean in, lean on, trust in, have belief, right? And be confident then in the Lord with all your heart and mind, not just your heart, your mind too. And do not rely on what your mind or your anxiety or your anger or your sadness. Do not rely on that. Do not rely on what you think you know. Do not rely on something, you know, besides God. He says, put your trust in me. Lean on and trust in and then have confidence that he's going to be there and carry you through. In the last verse, Isaiah 54, 10 says, Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on me. When you really read words like this, Mountains shaken. I keep thinking an earthquake. You know, how terrifying is, is an earthquake? And I know many of you have been through, not maybe necessarily a literal earthquake, but maybe an earthquake in your life. Maybe an earthquake in your personal life. Maybe an earthquake in your business. Something that shakes you to the core. Losing somebody that you don't expect to lose in life. Not understanding why something happens. Well, this is why he says this. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. Um, hi, Angelique. How are you, my dear friend? Uh, Debbie says, thank you for doing this because I've been looking for a Bible, not attending church right now due to things going on. Deborah, you may be one of the reasons that God led me to do this, so I hope so. I hope so. I hope you get something from this. Thank you for joining. Okay, so this is what this says about this. And by the way, guys, this again, this time it's coming from Jesus Always by Sarah Young. Love this. This was, again, Lori Yannick, my Avon sister, sent this to me last year, and it was exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed. This says, a bruised reed, remember from Isaiah, we say, a bruised reed I will not break, and a dimly burning wick I will not extinguish. Think about this. You know when something's lit, whether it's a candle, or I think about like the oil lamps, and it's like on its last leg, but it's really, really dim, and it's not bright. I think about me. Sometimes I'm exhausted. Sometimes I feel like I can't go any further. And let me be clear, yesterday in particular was one of those days. I was so dim, so exhausted. My physical being was just at an all-time low. I don't really have an explanation for it, except I've been burning the candle at both ends, right? And I actually had to go as far as to cancel my team meeting last night because I felt like I couldn't put two thoughts together. And I really, really struggled with that because I try to be so faithful to my team to be there every two weeks for our team meeting and then sharing it with every Avon representative out there on YouTube. And I struggled hard and I just, it's like I just felt God saying, Stop and breathe. Lean in. Sometimes you have to recharge, and that's okay. That is okay. Sometimes a life circumstance, you wait, open your eyes in the morning, and your Fitbit may tell you you slept, but you're like, no, I don't think I did. I think my Fitbit's lying, right? I get it. I get it. So sometimes... You have to say, I am not at my best for somebody. And so I just told my team, I will see you in two weeks. I can't be there tonight. And um, I know they're all okay because a lot of them are in San Antonio. So they're trying to recover right now. But I felt this way. I felt like the wick on my lamp was very dim. But he says, I will not extinguish it. You know what that means? You may feel like the life's going out of you. You may feel like you got nothing else. 
but he's going to keep you going no matter what. He's going to show you where you need to be and what you need to be and when you need to be there no matter what. He's going to walk you absolutely through every single thing in your life, even when you don't think he's there. And I think a lot of times we think he's not there because we don't exactly get the answers always that we want, or maybe in the timing that we want, or maybe we wanted a different answer, but we got another answer and we don't like the answer we got. But in reality, we may understand it down the road. You never know, right? Um, so this says, I know you sometimes feel as weak and helpless as a bent reed or a faintly burning flame. Accept your weakness and brokenness, beloved. Let them open your heart to me. Wow. Accept your weakness and brokenness. Let them open your heart to me. You can be fully yourself with me because I understand you perfectly. And let me tell you what's huge about that. I told my team I had to cancel the meeting. And I had people like Janae texting me, are you okay? Is everything okay? Because they're like, wait a minute, I may not be there sometimes, but Mama Molly is always there. And I wasn't sure they would understand. Like I said, I need to cancel the meeting this week. I did need to do that, but I didn't tell them why. And this, this opened up this morning and I thought, you know what? I wasn't alone in that. I should have been okay to say, right now, I am just exhausted. And I'm sitting upstairs in my chair and I'm talking to God and I'm like, what is wrong with me? Because let me tell you what happened during the day. I told you all, I had two brand new customers I got last campaign. They're local. I had to deliver their, no, I take it back. I had to deliver one brand new cu customer and then another one I just had to deliver their order. I had said I would be there and I had to pull my stuff together and go take the last ounce of everything I had to show the person that I knew I was on a good day and have conversations that I wasn't sure I could have. It's hard to tell you that me, Molly Stone Bibb, ever feels that way because I'm always like, you know, let's keep going, right? But I'm telling you, we're human. And sometimes, sometimes he just has to tell you. And yesterday he told me, you've run your limit. You've done way too much for your human body between conference and everything else. It's time to exhale, Molly, so that you can, so that you can recover, charge your batteries, and get back to business. And you want to know what? Hey, Eunice, it only took a few hours for me to do that last night, to just get away from everything, get away from social media, make a list, reorganize my thoughts. Pray a lot, talk to Jesus a lot, and say, you're probably right. I probably don't need to do this. It doesn't mean that I feel, I felt like I failed my team last night. I do. I feel like I didn't show up, and I didn't show up the day after convention. I realized that wasn't, that wasn't anything good that I needed to tell myself. Because you know what? The devil doesn't want me to be here for my Avon family. The devil doesn't want our company to prosper. He doesn't want anything good to come to this world. He wants to sabotage everything. He wants to sabotage my attitude. He wants to sabotage uh, women feeling like they can be empowered and that they can do anything they want to do if you use your own God-given gifts to get it done, right? There are men out there in our business who the devil is constantly after to say, I can't believe you're selling Avon. Avon, you know what, that, that, that's just this, that's just that, that's just something for women. No, no, no. We are a company for everybody. So if you've got people that he's using to tell you that you shouldn't be something, but you feel led to be that thing, you be it. You 
do it. You take your directions from the Almighty because He made you to be here to make a difference in people's life. And if it's this company or something else that you're doing, no matter what that looks like, you continue on that path. Don't you let things that are negative get in your way. Get in your way. You need to be your best self, but sometimes you need to recharge and sometimes you need to give it to God. This says you can be fully yourself with me because I understand you perfectly. As you tell me your troubles, I refresh you. You know that refresh button that's on the screen that most of the time it makes everything better and just brings you back to that clean page again so that you can see through the fog and the frozen screen and all of that. Yeah, I refresh you and I offer you peace that surpasses all comprehension. Instead of trying to figure everything out, lean on me in confident trust. Go off duty for a while. Thank you. That's what I did. Hey, Christy. Yes, what I, I went off duty for a while. I had worked myself into exhaustion and I had to go off duty. Not forever. Not for a long amount of time. I just had to go offline for a moment. Just for a moment, right? Sometimes that's all. Now, some of you go the other, well, I'm just going to take a break from life for the next six months. I don't really think that's what he means here. But I think he lets you know that he's going to keep that pilot light going for you. Take a moment. Exhale. Remember, you're not God. You're only human. And it is up to us to take his lead and recharge our batteries. Instead of trying to figure everything out, lean on me in confident trust. Go off duty for a while, trusting that I'm watching over you and working on your behalf. My healing work within you is the most effective when you are resting in my watchful care. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed. For I have compassion for you. I think the story here is when you feel like nobody else understands what you're feeling, God understands. God understands. You can tell him anything. And he understands. Even if you feel like what you're saying isn't right. Whenever you're feeling weak and wounded, come confidently into my presence to receive abundant love and peace. When I feel like a failure, I have to say, you know, God, why am I feeling this way? And yes, that's exactly how I talk to him. Y'all know I have told you this a million times. How I'm talking to you right now is exactly how me and God talk. We do. We talk like this all the time. I'm like, matter of fact, yesterday it was... Could you please fix this because I have to be at a meeting tonight? Could you fix this? I have to go to this customer's house. Why are you letting me feel this way on a Monday? Well, I don't think it's really that he let me feel that way. I think what happened is, is I pushed myself so, so much last week and I didn't get a lot of rest that my 59-year-old body kept up with me. Not. It did not keep up with me. And I do believe that he says, I am telling you exactly what you need to know, Molly Stonebeb. I need you to take a moment and lean on me. Lean on me. Exhale. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. I am so bad at that. I just want to go, 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 go all the time. And then we wonder how we end up sick, right? We wonder that. But I did that, and I have to tell you, by, by um, about 9 o'clock last night, I felt a little bit better. But this morning, even though I thought I'm never going to be able to get up an hour earlier, I'm such a wimp. I don't like mornings, okay? I so admit it. If you've ever met Joanna Niedenheiser and, and freaking Avon, let me tell you something. That girl, now God bless her, because during mornings that I would have to get up at 4 in the morning and go take my oldest son to work years and years and years ago, um, I was so tired 
And she would call me, and we would have conversations until I got home. She would be up with the rooster. I was, because I didn't want to be. And those people, I love, I, 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 I just, I'm jealous, because I'm not that person. I've tried to train myself to be that person. I'm not that person, I'm here to tell you. And I'm okay with that. That's not how God made me. But she is. And, and so when I set my clock for an hour earlier, what was amazing is I was okay. I was okay. I got up. I didn't hesitate. I didn't get up this morning and say, oh, wow, oh, wow. Uh, I got up, and I got to it, and I got in the shower, and I looked at my list. I put my list right beside my bed and said, not that I have to get everything done today, but this is my list, and these two things I want to get done. And I got up, and I got everything done, and I knew I had to be on here this morning with you all. And then when I went to my devotional and, and I read this and it said, the first thing I read was not the first sentence. It was, I know you sometimes feel as weak and helpless as a faintly burning flame. And I said, oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. I said, that was absolutely me. But he says, that's okay. And when you are, lean in. Lean in on him, trust in him, and be confident. And you know, guys, when you're somebody who feels like nobody else listens, I'm here to tell you, God listens. He does. And you know what's funny? You always have somebody who's trying to tell you how you should do something. You know, Lee is that way. God bless him. Love him to death. But sometimes he'll be like, you just need to do X, Y, and Z. And I'm immediately like, are you telling me what I need to do? And he's like, I'm not telling you but I'm just saying and I'm like oh my goodness right and we don't seem to take it too well from people who are in our in our life but I can sit and I can read my Bible or I can pick up a devotion or you know what I can put on some music and I can just sit in the moment and say I'm not sure what I need but God and that's what I say but God Give me what I need. Show me the direction. If it's not right, show me. And this isn't about it won't be hard if it's right. Don't misunderstand. Don't misunderstand that. Life is not easy. God never promised easy. But he did promise he would be there. And by the way, even when you don't want him there, even if you say you don't believe in him, newsflash, he's there. He doesn't make you accept who he is. You have free will. You have free will. I have just learned that it is so much better with him. I have just learned that when I am going through really rough times and semi-rough times and even little rough times, that it is so much better with him to have him to talk to, to have him let me know that he's not going to let my light go out, that I just need to take a moment and I need to recharge, and I need to refresh, and maybe I need to jump in his word, or maybe uh, maybe I need to listen to some songs that are just going to inspire me, that does it for me sometimes. Um, I just, um, joy, safe travels, my friend, safe travels. Uh, I just want you to know you're not alone. And by the way, sometimes not being alone, believe it or not, Maybe he put me in your life. Have you ever thought about that? I never had really before. Maybe he put you in my life. Think about that. Maybe he knew I was going to need you. And he did put us here so that we could help support each other. So even if we believe differently, what I do believe is we can love the same. Because in my Bible, he put us here for two things, to love him and to love people. And that's love all people, even the ones who are really hard to love. And I strive to do that every single day. Every single day. I choose to be my best person. And if you're somebody who loves me, and you're like, oh my gosh, Molly, I love you so much. Molly's don't be mama, Molly. Oh, it's okay. But listen to me. I do all this myself. This is God made right here. And he's constantly molding me. And he's constantly changing me. And he's constantly lifting me up.
And he is constantly letting me know that through the worst of things, through cancer, through the death of family members that I still miss so much to this day, to problems in my business, to problems in my marriage, to problems with family, to, um, to division with my kids when that happened. Um, just so many things that have happened in my life, wondering where the next car payment was coming, wondering how the electric bill was going to get paid. I know he was there. Every surgery that I've had, every time I had to have a root canal, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. When I was losing my hair after COVID, right? Thank you, Avon, for giving me the shampoo to bring it back. Okay, love that. Love that so much. Thank you. Again, why was LG bought in their life? <laughs> you know why? Because they're striving hard to make everything better for us. So don't think things are, oh, coincidental. I don't believe that. I think things are intentional. I really, really do. And, um... That's why I believe we need to be intentional with what we want. But we also need to be intentional with our relationship and our walk with God. Some people only walk with God when times are hard. You know why I can say that? Because I've been guilty of that. The moment something bad happens, oh Lord. Could you help me through this? Lord, Lord, if you could just heal this person. Why I go out and cheat on my wife and, and you know, um, um, stay drunk 24-7 and, you know, um, go out and steal from people and rob and lie to people and, 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 you know, treat my parents like crap and, you know, and, and, and always beating at my kids and no, 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 no. Even though he's still there, I have figured out that when I talk to him on a consistent basis, when something good happens and I go, wow, thank you, Lord. Wow. Wow. When I heard some of the things that LG and Steve Bossen announced this weekend and their transparency, I said, thank you, Lord, for bringing these people together in my life and showing me that we are just on a path to much greater things. And I felt it in my heart because I was worried for a long time. I didn't know where things were going. I didn't know where things were going with my kids for a while. And now I look at the relationship I have with my boys even living in North Carolina and then being in Maryland. And I could have never fathomed how much better my life was going to get when I was so scared to say, here, God, take my boys, take me, take my boys. I don't know where this leads. I don't know if they're ever going to talk to me again. I don't know if I'll ever see my granddaughter again. I don't know how this is going to turn out. But God, I can't handle this. I am going to lose my mind, so I need to just take this and give it to you. And I'm not telling you that the moment I did that, everything happened. It didn't. It was two years. Two years of when I thought hard about it, my heart broke. Two years of wondering, will I ever have a relationship with them again? In two years of understanding so many things I had done wrong. And then the doors opened one at a time. And I realized that it wasn't in my time. It was in God's time. I didn't have to be exhausted worrying about it. He had work to do with them and he needed things they needed to see. And I had to see things differently. When I've struggled in my marriage, and look, guys, I love Lee Bibb, but we have our struggles like everybody else. And when that happens, I have to say, God, show me what I need to do. Show Lee what he needs to do. Because we are not giving up on this, but there is a disconnect, God. Please help me. And it doesn't happen all at once, but you know what happens? I'm getting better at just saying, here you go. Here you go. Show me. 
have my eyes be open to how to maybe handle things differently. And we talk about learning and we talk about we talk about trying new things. That's not just in business, y'all. That's life. That's life. And when I hand it over to him, and then I take a long look at myself, I say, am I doing everything I can do to be the best wife, to be the best leader for my team, to be the best, best mentor to thousands of representatives, to be the best mom and mom mom that I can be to the people in my life, to, to be the best family member that I can be because see I still feel like I fail in all of them from time to time but that's okay because I'm still breathing and I can get back up and I can do better so if you feel like you're that person and you got nothing to give you're trying to get your kids ready for school oh my goodness you're trying to get your business off the ground oh my goodness you're just tired you feel like that you are in conflict with people in your job you feel like you in conflict with your spouse you feel like every time you turn around there's something coming at you remember the mountains will shake and the hills can crumble but the unfailing love that God has for us will not be shaken. So if I'm going to take it to somebody, I'm going to take it to him. When the rocks are falling or I'm in the quicksand, I give it to him. And you have to righteously give it to him. Not just, I'm going to give it to you, but I'm going to take it back. Okay, I'm okay now. I'm going to take it back. I'm that person. Oh, my, I'm still that person sometimes. And he will remind me, mm -mm, mm, Molly, what you doing? What you doing, Molly? Get, get that back to me. Get that back to me, Molly. I'm like, okay, here you go. I thought I could handle it all myself. I can't. So I need you to know, if you're feeling empty, if you feel like there's hardly any flame there, if you feel like you're bruised and you're battered, if you feel like you don't think the answer's ever going to come, just talk to God. Give it to Him. Have your eyes open. Watch for open doors. What can you learn to make yourself better? And above all, keep giving to others. Give them what you do have to give that is good. Love people. And you'll get the answer. You may not always get the answer that you want. We're not dealing with the genie in the bottle here. But your life will be better. And it's okay to cry to him and ask him why. And you may not get the answer then. But he hears you. And he wants to comfort you. And he wants you to know that it's okay. And even if it's something you don't understand, eventually he's going to show you how he will use that something in your life that you just thought you could never get past. I promise. But above all, he promises. Um, if you have any prayer requests, guys, please make sure that you drop them in the comments. Uh, make sure, or if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can private message me. Uh, I need you to know that Lee and I pray for all of you. Not by name, because there's too many of you. But we pray for all of you. But if you've sent me something specifically, we do pray for that. Um, I know Gwenda's on here, and she's trying to heal up. And Gwenda, you have been in our prayers uh, just consistently. So I hope you're doing better. Um, and I just believe that, guys, we're going to be okay. Pray for our country. Um, get, off, get off the new social media. They, they just suck. They just suck so bad. And I need you to know that when you think everything is falling down around you, I need you to know that there's good out there and there's hope out there. Because God is there and he will always be there. He will never leave us. We're not the only people who've gone through rough times. But he is there for us. And he will walk us through this until the end of time, until we get to heaven one day. Okay? So uh, I am praying for you. And uh, for all my Avon peeps who are in my Onward No Matter What group, 
I will see you this evening, 8-ish, between 8 and 8.30, and we will talk convention, and we will talk celebrations, and we will talk goals, and uh, I'm going to get to work here, and then I have to get up on the treadmill and have to go walk. Uh, I got to tell you, Veronica says, pray for my older daughter, Rebecca, has a successful job interview today at Knott's Berry Farm. Absolutely, we will pray for her. Um, Andrew, please pray that my other half lost his job yesterday, so we're down to one income. Jesus hears that, Andrea, and yes, we will pray that the right thing will come along, but that you will be okay through it. Um, so I love you guys so much. Stephanie, there you are. I just saw you. Stephanie's on here. Um, love you, girl. Kim, see, the comments are just coming through now, guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, Kim, Kim is on my team. She lives in California. Um, she couldn't go to convention this year either, so she was in my boat. Uh, Kim, yeah, Kim, I know, girl, you and me, love you so much, love you so much, um, so, um, I will read through the comments later, because now they're just coming through, Pfft, who knew, right, um, but I will see you guys tonight, Avon representatives, I will see you, I love you, I am praying for you, you have got this, give it to God, and next Tuesday morning, I will see you again, or if you want to, I'm going to have this on YouTube in a day or two, Please go and share it out. Please let people know. Share this on your page. Somebody needs to know that God is there, especially when they feel like he's not. And maybe they don't want to hear it from you, but maybe they'd like to hear it from a stranger who just doesn't even know what's going on with them. Okay? Love you so much. Talk to you soon.